For several months now, the Rosetta mission has followed the comet 67P churyumov yarosimenko around the sun. And as we've expected, direct observation continues to add one mystery to another. How are we to understand the weird configurations of dust on the comet's surface? The gravity of the comet is many thousands of times less than that of Earth, and in the vacuum of space, the nucleus has no atmosphere to blow dust around. The problem is that the standard model of an icy conglomerate emerging from a primordial nebular cloud and evaporating in the warmth of the sun will not explain what we now see. Sublimating volatiles over time would surely not create the sharply carved rock-like appearance of the comet. And what is the connection of the debris field on the surface to the enigmatic dust features also present? Standard models never predicted such things. Those who come to this issue from an electrical perspective have urged investigators of 67P to look at experimental evidence. Electric fields and electric discharge act on surfaces in very specific ways, and the dust formations on 67P find a rational explanation in experimental work. Notice, for example, the manner in which the surface dust on 67P has gathered into flat and smooth layers with distinct boundaries between them. Will a conglomerate of ice and dust in a neutral vacuum be expected to produce such formations? Over the past 15 years within the Electric Universe community, experiments have shown the effects of electric fields and electric discharge on surface materials, with results that compare exceptionally well to surface features on planets and on moons, asteroids, and comets. Surface features emerging from these experiments could be essential keys to a new understanding of solar system history. The expansive, smooth layers of dust on 67P pose a remarkable contrast to the rugged and irregular shape of the nucleus as a whole. But equally noteworthy are the more intricate dust patterns seen at some of the margins of the primary smooth dust planes. What is the cause of the contrasting features? Several experiments by D.Z. Parker and Billy Elverton looked at the effects of electric fields acting on a surface of dust. A consistent pattern of layering emerged. Distinct layers of flat and smooth terrain with more complex patterns formed unpredictably at higher electrical energies. Some of these patterns are virtually indistinguishable from configurations of dust on 67P, and remarkably similar patterns observed on the planet Mars and on Jupiter's moon Io. Such experiments have continued to support our long-standing conviction that many formative processes on planets and moons and asteroids and comets are driven electrically. It's also interesting to note that charge redistribution in these experiments typically leads to a concluding equilibrium position where the dust configuration stabilizes and persists through the remainder of the experiment, though the power is still on. What is most important to note here is that the experimental work, though still in its infancy, has already added new witnesses to the electric comet hypothesis.